forward to that today? Yeah, I just mentioned after the game the ability to uh, adapt and evolve our game plan um, on the on the run. You know, like you get to round eight and opposition are looking at what you're doing well and they try to take that away and then they find opportunities to you know, exploit you where it, where it looks like uh, what it looks like. So we're the same. Um, but on a day like today against really good opposition, just to find a way and yeah, get the job done, it was really pleasing. Do you feel like you get the hunted all of a sudden in that respect? Oh, I'm not sure. I don't know. What do you think? Possibly. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, I have to give that a bit more thought. But to be honest, we're just sort of living in you know, the next opposition and then living in trying to be a, a better version of ourselves and um, haven't given that much thought. Were you expecting them to actually do what they did, though, in a sense? Yeah. Around? Yeah, we, we got everything we thought we'd get. Um, yeah, it's one thing to, to know what's coming, and the other thing is to try to stop some things. So I, I thought, credit to them, I thought the game was here you know, on a knife's edge for a lot, major part of the game. Um, like the last two or three games, our pressure in the last quarter just goes to another level. And um, teams right now are, are struggling with that. Did you like how the guys, did you like how the guys blew the flag there at the start? Yeah, yeah, we want to be a team that does that. Yeah, I've said this often that we, um, yeah, someone comes at us, you know, we want to go back at them, but within the rules. And I was really pleased. Was, last week was the same. The week before, if someone comes at one of us, there's, there's a fly in the flag, if you like, using that language. But there's not a um, stepping over the rules of the game. Yeah, you know, we don't want to be undisciplined, but we stand up for each other. Sorry, Mark, I swear, but I didn't want Nick Jacobs to be the story. He sort of thought it was a bit of a non-story. How's he going with this sort of added pressure of teams coming at him? Oh, I haven't asked him about that, to be honest. Um, I think it's a natural part of any good player in the competition. You, you go back in time, every every very good player's had to go through this and some have to do it for longer. Um, yeah, this this is his, his lot right now, this second year player just going really well and opposition want to take that away and um, I was really pleased with his last quarter. He had 10 possessions in the last quarter and went in the midfield, did his thing, so um, he's a hard player to stop. What did you think of the impact, sorry, what did you think of the impact Jack Gennivan had when he came? Yeah, I liked it, I really liked it. and. I don't like the rule as it sits right now where you've got a name 22 and the subs dropped. You know, we don't see it in that light. We mentioned that in our group. He's, he's in our best 23 and it'll look different next week possibly. And, um, you know, Bobby Hill goes off because, you know, just because. Yeah, and then we, we rotate Jack in and he impacts. Um, yeah, that, yeah I, I don't like the rule. I don't know if we can change it. It's Laura Kane, Kane listening, maybe we can change the rule. But uh, we we're very happy with Jack's, uh, yeah, Jack's impact in the game. Look like he might have been a bit stunned by getting dropped, Craig. Well, we, we don't see him being dropped though. That's mm. yeah. We had that conversation. I sat on my couch and said, "No, you're not dropped." Mm. Okay. Yeah. Well, look, we're all trying to be better, mm. and we want to perform better. Um, but this game is a very hard one to do week to week. But particularly playing a role like him and, and Bobby are playing. It's like Bob McCreary had low numbers today, but it's a difficult role. Mm. We we get it. Um, I played it for a long time. I realised it. <laughs> you don't touch it, and then you've got to see value in other things. So we're trying to see value in other things and um, support them along the way. What are, those other, what are those other things that you're trying to see value in? Well, well, if you watch closely how we we um, in offence, the way that they set the field up for us, um, play a massive part in what we're doing. Um, yeah, get the behind the goals footage, and, and you'll see the value in what they do um, for others. Brody Mychek's had plenty of bags of four goals. Finally broke through, got that five. How proud are you to see him get reward for yeah. it? Yeah, it's a great thing. Checkers is a really important player to us. He's, you know, two weeks ago had a heavy load and, and um, yeah, a lot of attention. And, um, you know, he's so critical to us right now. You know, with Dan out, he's carrying, you know, that job with, you know, Ash goes in the rock some weeks. And no, we're wrapped for, for Checkers. We love him very much. And, um, yeah, it's great for him to get rewarded today. How much did having Mason Cox back help you with just your structure and to be able to set up and obviously free, free Brody a bit more to get on the end of a couple, but yeah, how much no, does that help? A lot, yeah, and, and Billy Frampton continues to really impact that part of our game for us. It's, um, yeah, we might have found one there in, in terms of that role, but Mason today allowed uh, Checkers to rotate more, Ash Johnson to rotate more, and then Mason had great energy to, to impact when he was on the ground. It's... Yeah, I thought, it was, I thought it was really impressive today, Mason, for the minutes he played. We, we tried to play him at 56% game time, and I thought he had impact in the aerial contest, which um, yeah, was really pleasing. Just on the day, Cross, did you make any tweaks in the game to try and frame up a bit more, or was that all him in the last quarter? Oh, no, no, we, we've, we've, got, we've got plans in place. We're, we're not surprised by him getting tagged. We're, I said last week, I like playing chess with my dad, and 
and he liked playing against me until I started beating him. He didn't want to play anymore. <laughs> but, but he taught me about you know, the importance of thinking ahead and two moves ahead in chess, and that's what we like to do, not only with Nick, but in the game. We want to be strategic in what it looks like. If he's not impacting or you know, whatever's happening, is it Nick or whatever the parts of our game, we want to be two steps ahead. And um, yeah, we've got a plan around that. Taylor Adams was involved in a pretty heavy collision in that last quarter. How is he? I think he's okay. I was a bit worried for him too. It was one of those knee contacts. Again, he's, he's a bit sore, but um, at this stage, he looks fine. How big was your skipper, particularly in that real part of the game? And you know that the might be able to crack you open a couple of times. Yeah, he's an amazing player, isn't he? I don't know if we give him enough credit or there's enough accolades. He's he had 30 odd possessions today. We moved him to half back for a quarter and a half. Um, he just, the calmness and to keep the game where we want it. Um, I thought the game today was, a, like I said, on a knife set, but you had to manage when you want to go fast and when to control the ball, and he just does that so well for us. So um, he's a remarkable player. What was your thoughts on uh, Buddy getting booed today, Craig? Well, I, I, I've said this before, I'm not a booer. We don't boo at home. Um, you pay your money, you do whatever you want. Um, I must admit I didn't hear it. I don't know whether I had the headsets on or whatever, but um, no, we just don't boo.